University. Tickets are limited. They're available two per person from 5 to 8 p.m. tomorrow at the Adams Field ticket booth on Wayne's campus. Well, bringing Detroit back will take all sorts of people with different talents. Tonight, the young man behind one of the hottest restaurants is using his passion to help revive the city. Action News reporter Christy McDonald introduces us to Phil Cooley. You can smell Slow's Barbecue before you ever step inside. A fixture for five years in Detroit's Corktown, it's always packed with hipsters, sports fans, and suits. I live upstairs, so... Uh, <laughs> It's, it's, it's nice. Every time I walk out the door, I do get a little, like, taste of bacon. And this is the man behind it, 32-year-old Phil Cooley. He's got a bunch of tickets up now. He's Slow's part owner and full-time Detroit booster who brings young creative juices to a city that needs it. We need a strong urban core that's going to attract people, to ha that, that will attract young people to, to stay and create. Cooley's journey to Detroit is not a conventional one. He grew up in Marysville, that's in St. Clair County, went to school in Chicago, then hit the jet set life as a model. Anyone that was 6'1 and skinny was a, became a model. So after living in New York, Paris, why did he end up in Detroit? Because it was a place where a person of my age could come and, you know, just be a part of something. You can do anything you want. We can steer this ship to do think something positive in history. You can't change Manhattan or Chicago. At age 26, he concocted slows with the help of his dad and brother. And as an architecture yeah, school dropout, he and his friends so built he, the place. So the, t the timbers, instead of throwing them away, um, we ended up reusing it. Fulls and walls, architecture walls, our, our fence, our door. But it was up and running well started looking around. This was all uh, with massive weeds. So, so he, he fixed up the like median. This. Then he got an idea for a park down the street. Straight across here. Roosevelt Park is smack in front of one of Detroit's biggest eyesores, the old train station. But Cooley and his friends got grants and donations and came up with $300,000 for a beautiful space. So this is it. This is it. They did the work themselves down to driving the front it, yeah. end loader. We all pitch in and we get together and everyone. And you're doing a lot of the work in yourself too. Like at the actual physical labor you're doing. Heck yeah, it's like, it's like playing Tonka trucks. It's awesome. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's like every little boy's dream. And he might get to move more dirt for a new skate park next year. Cooley even met with skater Tony Hawk's foundation in California to make it happen. And now his big dream project, bring art and life to the train station. If you look at the train station, I, I look at that as potential and I look at that as beauty. Cooley's already had a tour from representatives of owner Matty Maroon, and he and his group are in contact with the people behind Cleveland's Rock and Roll Hall of Fame Museum for ideas. That space seems to be very urban and vibrant, and I think it needs to be a space of creation. So we're looking at performance and, uh, you know, urban art, and we're looking at uh, installation, those sorts of things for the space. So is this young suburban kid for real or just a dreamer? Slow success now affords him time and money to spend volunteering on new projects. Cooley sits on the board of an organization that helps small businesses grow, another about preserving architecture, and even on the board of Tyree Guyton's Heidelberg Project. How can we start working together as a whole, as a community, and, and start, you know, making the, the land and these structures work for us instead of being, you know, a detriment? Cooley admits it's not all perfect. You know, he partnered on a coffee shop across from Slows that went out of business quickly, and he's quick to point out he doesn't do this alone. But it's his contagious, grassroots, anything is possible spirit that keeps Cooley thinking of Detroit's future. What's your reaction when people say, like, you're the poster child of a new Detroit? Um, you know, I'm one of them. I'm, you know, one person trying to do positive things in Detroit. But there's, I mean, everyone's a, you know, anyone that wants to think positively about Detroit is a poster child for Detroit. Cooley's ideas are just in the early stages for the train station, and he admits there are a lot of ideas out there for the space. But between all that, he's expanding his business. They're opening a new Slows Barbecue this summer. It's called Slows to Go for carryout on Cass near Wayne State. I'm Christy McDonald, Channel 7 Action News. Back to you. Christy, thanks. Well, did it end the way you thought or hoped? The series finale of Lost captured audiences tonight, to be sure. Now, in Warren, avid fans gathered to share the final moments of the series. Malone's Tavern put on a big Lost finale party, complete with big screens, special menus, and lots of attentive fans. They went all out with oceanic plane tickets and Dharma badges. You can bet the Twitterverse is buzzing with talk of the ending tonight as well. Yeah, big night. You can't wait. Wait to hear what all our losters here mm -hmm. in the station think about it. You may feel lost yeah. this week <laughs> because we're going to be jumping ahead to some summer weather. Stay 
changes uh, to the forecast. This was day one of a, a very impressive warm up that's on the way. Let's show you what now temperatures pretty uh, pleasant outside we've been talking about that river flood warning for the river raisin that's for Linaway and Monroe County that will